In the sepia-tinged tapestry of television history, there exists a thread that weaves its way into the fabric of our nostalgic recollections, a thread that carries the mischievous charm of innocence and the whimsy of a bygone era. As the flickering screen heralded the advent of the 1959 TV series, Dennis the Menace, unsuspecting hearts across the nation found themselves entangled in the endearing antics of a toe-headed scamp in his quaint suburban world. Do you remember the very first moment you stumbled upon this timeless treasure? The sensation of curiosity, like a gentle breeze, swept through the room as young Dennis Mitchell's escapades unfolded before your eyes. Perhaps it was the way the rambunctious spirit of Dennis collided with the exasperated yet tender guidance of Mr. Wilsona Pear, as iconic as peanut butter and jelly, their interactions etching laughter and wisdom into the corridors of your memory. Or maybe it was the idyllic backdrop of Maple Street, where tree-lined avenues and white picket fences whispered secrets of childhood to you, prompting you to reminisce about your own youthful adventures. But enough with reminiscing, let's embark on a journey of discovery. Imagine unearthing those hidden gems of knowledge about the show that made you laugh, tugged at your heartstrings, and transported you to simpler times. Did you know that Jay North, the actor who portrayed the ever-curious Dennis, was merely nine years old when he stepped into the shoes of the spirited troublemaker? And here's a twist despite its undeniable charm. The show faced a bit of a tussle with the actual comic strip it was based on, as its creator, Hank Ketchum, voiced concerns about the portrayal of his beloved characters. Now, imagine yourself sipping on a metaphorical cup of nostalgia as these tidbits weave new layers into your appreciation of the show. So, there you have it, 1959 TV series Dennis the Menace, a patchwork of laughter, life lessons, and lighthearted moments that has left an indelible mark on the tapestry of television history. And just like that, you're poised on the precipice of rediscovery, ready to dive back into the world that once enchanted you. Jay North's hair transformation, a blonde anomaly in Dennis the Menace in the annals of classic television. Few characters are as iconic as Dennis Mitchell from the 1959 TV series Dennis the Menace. Jay North's portrayal of the mischievous young boy endeared him to audiences across America. But beneath the veneer of boyish antics lies an intriguing hair-related twist that few are aware of. While Jay North's natural hair color was brown, the comic strip's depiction of Dennis painted him as a toe-headed youngster. This incongruity led to an interesting routine for North behind the scenes. As the cameras rolled, his brown locks would undergo a regular transformation, bleached to match the golden hue of Dennis' hair in the comics. This meticulous effort to capture the essence of the character showcases the dedication that both actors and production crews poured into bringing the beloved mischief maker to life. The challenges of maintaining this consistent image were not confined to the TV screen. Beyond the show's run, Jay North continued to contend with the demands of his on-screen persona. His post-Dennis the Menace work found him engaged in numerous projects where his hair color proved pivotal. The blonde-haired Dennis was a visual anchor in the minds of the audience, making North's temporary metamorphosis a necessity for roles that followed. This commitment to embodying the character's appearance underscores the complex relationship between live-action adaptations and their ink-and-paper origins. Jay North's bleach-blonde hair, an anomaly against his natural brown, symbolizes the lengths to which television creatives of that era went to capture the essence of their source material. It's a reminder that even in the seemingly straightforward world of a young boy's misadventures, meticulous craftsmanship often lurks beneath the surface. As we delve back into the nostalgic treasure trove that is Dennis the Menace, let's not forget the dedication of individuals like Jay North, who transformed more than just their performances to give us the timeless characters we still hold dear today. Jay North's transformation, a golden-hued anomaly amid the brown, a testament to the era's craftsmanship, Dennis the Menace unveils unseen struggles of child stardom in a revelatory interview for the true Hollywood story, Jay North, the once cherubic face behind the mischievous Dennis Mitchell in the 1959 TV series Dennis the Menace, bared a poignant chapter obscured by the glitz of Hollywood. Beyond the laughter and lightheartedness of the show, North unveiled the shadows that loomed over his youth. Following the inaugural season, North grappled with the weight of his burgeoning fame confronting a demand thrust upon few so young. He unveiled a poignant tale of familial discord, recounting the turmoil inflicted by an authoritarian ant, whose grip extended to physical punishment. 
North's ordeal concealed from his mother co-stars and crew underscores the unspoken sacrifices borne by young performers during that era. The bitter aftertaste of this past only accentuated the all too familiar narrative that has trailed many a former child star, the haunting specter of typecasting and abandonment. In the Hollywood realm, where transitions from youth to maturity are rarely seamless, North's revelations provide a lens into the oft-hidden struggles these actors endure. Yet, North's narrative also echoes with notes of redemption and acceptance. Over time, he managed to reconcile with his past, embracing the positive imprint he left on countless fans and the indelible mark of his endearing on-screen persona. In finding solace with his own story, North charted new trajectories, unfettered by the pigeonholes of yesterday. The saga of Jay North unveils the labyrinthine experiences concealed beneath the glamorous veneer of child stardom, a reflection of a bygone era and an enduring reminder of the trials that shaped those thrust into the spotlight too early. The iconic TV residences of Dennis the Menace and other classics in the quaint setting of Warner Ranch in Burbank. The fictional lives of beloved TV characters converged on a single faux block known as Blondie Street. Little did viewers know, the home of young Dennis Mitchell and his parents on the 1959 TV series Dennis the Menace was previously inhabited by the Stone family from Donna Reed's show. The neighboring residence, belonging to the cantankerous Mr. Wilson, was once occupied by the Anderson family from Father Knows Best and later by Tony Nelson and his genie on I Dream of Genie. But that's not all. The whimsical street also housed the abodes of Bewitched, the Partridge family, and Hazel. This charming suburban setting, with its uncanny knack for slipping into various televised universes, reached its zenith when the 1998 movie Pleasantville transformed the entire block into a utopian TV neighborhood. The allure of this locale lies not just in its picturesque facades, but in its ability to encapsulate the essence of different eras in fictional worlds. The intermingling of these characters' dwellings underlines the unique interconnectedness of TV lore. It's a testament to the lasting impact of shows like Dennis the Menace that even the settings hold a cherished place in the hearts of viewers, embodying a sense of nostalgia and shared cultural memory. So, the next time George Wilson casually addresses Alice Mitchell as Alice, and Henry Mitchell as Mitchell, it's a reminder of the layers of history that reside within these walls. Despite the comic strip Dennis being a mere five-year-old, the older actor who portrayed him navigated the show's run from ages 8 to almost 12. These instances underscore the delightful complexities that lie beneath the surface of seemingly straightforward TV narratives. As we wander down Blondie Street, we're reminded that the magic of television doesn't just unfold in front of the camera. The stage is set, quite literally, for generations to come, preserving a slice of Americana for those who yearn to revisit simpler times, if only for the duration of an episode. Unveiling the untold story of Dennis the Menace's real-life inspiration, the mischievous grin, the freckled face, Dennis Mitchell, the iconic character from the 1959 TV series Dennis the Menace, charmed viewers with his boyish antics. Yet, behind this lovable portrayal lies a poignant tale of inspiration drawn from real-life struggles. Dennis Mitchell's roots trace back to the mind of Hank Ketchum, the comic strip creator. Modeled after his own son, Dennis Ketchum, the character embodied a carefree spirit. However, the real Dennis' life took a darker turn. At the tender age of 12, he faced the tragic loss of his mother to a drug overdose amidst a tumultuous divorce. Hank sought solace in Switzerland with a new family, leaving Dennis to grapple with a new life and eventually shipping him off to a boarding school in the United States. A journey of redemption awaited the real Dennis. Overcoming his troubles, he enlisted in the military, venturing to the battlefields of Vietnam. The scars of war, however, left him grappling with PTSD upon his return. The stark contrast between the comic strip's joviality and Dennis' own struggles remained a hidden truth. Meanwhile, the TV series brought to life the world of Dennis Mitchell, and his neighbor, the grandfatherly Mr. George Wilson. A striking irony emerged in the form of Joseph Kearns, the actor who portrayed Mr. Wilson. Kearns' age, a mere 10 years senior to Jay North's on-screen father, added a twist to the dynamics of the show. Notably, the stage that housed the TV series, Soundstage 7 at Columbia Studios, held its own history. 
Before echoing with the laughter of young Dennis, it was the creative home of the Three Stooges. The transition from slapstick to innocence speaks to the versatility of the space. Dennis the Menace painted a picture of childhood adventures and neighborly camaraderie. Yet, beneath the surface, the show's inspiration bore the weight of a young man's hardships. The tale of the real Dennis, a journey from tribulation to triumph, lent an unexpected layer of complexity to the familiar narrative. As we revisit the episodes and chuckle at Dennis' escapades, let us also remember the resilience of the boy who inspired it all. As we bid adieu to the world of nostalgia woven by the 1959 TV series Dennis the Menace, we find ourselves standing at the crossroads of memory and time. The mischievous grin of Dennis, his infectious curiosity, and the idyllic charm of his suburban escapades have all etched their mark on our hearts. Just as the show's titular character navigated the intricate tapestry of childhood, so too have we embarked on our own journeys through innocence, growth, and the whimsical moments that have shaped us. It's a reminder that in the simplicity of suburban life, there lies a treasure trove of memories waiting to be unearthed. Whether you chuckled at Mr. Wilson's exasperation, empathized with Mrs. Mitchell's patience, or saw a reflection of your own youthful antics in Dennis' adventures, there's a unique bond that ties us all to this classic series. It's a bridge that spans generations, inviting us to share our personal stories and connect over the timeless lessons it imparted. So, take a moment to sift through the sands of time and recall your cherished encounters with Dennis and his pals. What made you laugh? What tugged at your heartstrings? What lessons have you carried with you from that simpler era? We invite you to share your fondest memories and reflections as we celebrate the universal magic of Dennis the Menace. Thank you for allowing us to traverse down memory lane with you. Your time and interest in reliving these moments are truly appreciated. Warmly, 